What is up everybody? My name is Jack Quinn. It is day three, the cup race here at Las Vegas for the South Point 400. It's the first race of the round of 12. She's finally decked out NASCAR gear. Hat, my old Chase Elliott t-shirt. I'm wearing my Chase Elliott champion t-shirt as well as my hat. We are ready to go. We're sitting in the car. It is hot. I'm going to start the engine. We're going to drive to the track. See you guys when we get there. Alrighty, so we've just arrived at the racetrack. We have parked. This is my girlfriend's first ever NASCAR Cup race. And here's an interesting trend. Her first ever NASCAR race, which was the truck race, we had a first time winner. Her second NASCAR race, which was yesterday at the Xfinity Series race, we had a two time winner in Josh Berry win. He got a second win last night. Today, it's your third race. One driver comes to mind that can get his third win today, and that driver is William Byron of the number 24 Exalted Chevrolet. Can this trend keep going? We'll see. Alrighty, we are at the track here, at the Toyota booth. Man, They're doing an this, interview with Kyle Busch on the stage. This week. Yeah, to see soon. Face yet. But, uh, as you can tell, we're not a fan. I got you. <laughs> we're not a fan of Kyle. We're just so gonna Kyle, go. We, you've had a really busy week, generally, you know, lately booth. you've been having and then we're gonna really have short seats weekends, and get some you know, kind of track. one day shit. Stuff like that, I've had, uh, you know, the ex-lady from Michigan who uh, makes the team cookies sometimes and brings it to us, so that was, that was always super nice. And then, uh, you know, I've always received little tokens of appreciation. One of the coolest ones, it's not weird, but it's really cool, is there was a fan out of Tennessee years ago who was going through some difficult times and after my 2015 uh, comeback from injury, uh, he sent me his purple heart. So uh, that was really special. We still have that today. That came to the end of the play day. So that was very, very cool. That's incredible. Uh, let's go on to the next one. Uh, let's see. What's your biggest fear? Of losing. I hate it. <laughs> Uh, what is the best purchase you've ever made? Uh, well, that, that's kind of really easy. Probably my wife's engagement ring. She's sitting there. She's sitting right there, isn't she? No, she's not here. <laughs> What's the worst purchase you've ever made? Kyle Busch Motorsports. <laughs> I, I think... I, I would agree that we think that that's probably one of the best purchases you've ever made. We love to see them. Uh, what is the most ridiculous thing that someone has tricked you into believing? Uh, man, tricked me into believing. Uh, I don't know. That, that's a good one. I don't know about that. Okay. Uh, do you see it in the shower or the car? Definitely the car, for sure. What, what's your go-to karaoke song? Oh, I don't even know. Whatever is hot in the, in the top. One thing that Las Vegas offers is the dream racing experience where you get to race like some pretty exotic cars. From Ferraris to Porsches to Lamborghinis. I, I figured it out. Just about everything. Kurt Busch's car. Did a throwback to this game a couple of years ago in the spring race. What's your name? Here's some NASCAR Cup cars. Ryan Newman, Joey Logano, Chase Briscoe. Honestly, I, I might have to go with the Richmond. Richmond. Yeah, there's like a, there's probably five tracks that are my go-to, but I think I put that in four. Short track racing. Um, probably Homestead. Probably Homestead. Alrighty, so we're now heading into our seats. She's now got a brand new hat and a brand new t-shirt that she bought. I also got a die cast and she also got a lanyard. So 
we, we're, we're pretty stocked up at the moment. I've now walked away with four die casts this week. She's walking away with a hat, a t-shirt, and a lanyard. And we're gonna go to our seats. It is hot, we're gonna put sunblock on. Get in the shade, cool off, and uh, get something to drink. Access to the Neon Garage here in Las Vegas. Alrighty, so we're in our seats. We've got a nice cold Coca-Cola for each of us. Now we're just waiting for the cars to get placed onto the grid in pit lane, driver introductions, as well as the command to fire engines. And then it's gonna be a day to night race here in Las Vegas for the South Point 400. So we just got an alert saying that the 24 and the 19 of, Mar of Martin Truex in the 19 and William Byron in the 24 are gonna be starting to the rear due to failing inspection here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Two playoff drivers in the round of 12 start from the back of this field. That's gonna make things interesting. Cars are getting rolled out to the grid here at Las Vegas. It's a beautiful day here in Sin City for the South Point 400. Your Daytona 500 champion, Michael McDowell. the round of 12 drivers. Roman the showman.
racist. Start after the competition. Caution, Kyle Bush, Denny Hamlin at your front row. One winner, Kyle Larson. I'm here waiting in line getting food as they're about to start the second stage. So, who knows what happens. I might get the food before then, I might get it afterwards. But stage two is underway. Denny Hamlin, Kyle Larson, number one, two. Chase Elliott, third. Ryan Blaney, fourth. And William Byron, your top five.
The tale of Rick Ware Racing strikes again. This time the 15 of Joey Gase in the number... I called it. I knew there was going to be a caution with the Rick Ware Racing cars. Just didn't know it would take this long. Typical. So Joey Gase lost the uh, left or right left rear wheel. It actually almost went up and over on the wall. So that is the cause of the caution. Watch it here. Massive hit for the 15 of Joey Gase. Pit stop, he's on the lead lap now. As William Byron now has the free pass. So William Byron is now on the lead lap. We got a whole other stage here. Just like we'll see what happens. The South Point 400. Chase Elliott second.
Hamlin advances his way into the round of eight. I think Hamlin blew the tires out of his car. Fireworks in the night sky here in Las Vegas. Chase Elliott finished second, had a strong run coming at the end, but obviously it, just, it wasn't enough to catch the 11 of Denny Hamlin. Um, but that's a wrap on the South Point 400 weekend. Um, I wasn't even scheduled to be here on Saturday and Sunday, but um, a group of people that, sit by, that sat behind me every year for the last 10 something years offered us tickets. Uh, for today and yesterday and we went and we came here brought her along with me she had fun um, we're just now making our way to the to the parking lot and we're gonna sit wait out for traffic and then we're gonna head home uh, there's a football game on and then there's two hockey games on I don't want to go sit and watch plus uh, sit and watch the IndyCar race that happened earlier. Um, I've avoided social media and anything related to IndyCar, uh, so for no spoilers. Um, so we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, that's Las Vegas playoff racing. What, what more is there to say?